Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm your host, Corey Nockreiner. Today I'm talking about malicious applications on Android's Google Play Marketplace. This story comes from Avast Security's blog post, or rather, it really comes from one of Avast's customers. On Avast's forum site, this customer posted about malicious applications he found on Google Play, things like a card game named Dirac, an IQ application, and a history application. What was interesting about these malicious applications apps is at first they would lie dormant. They would just do what was advertised. But once you rebooted your Android device and then waited anywhere from 7 to 30 days, they would activate their malicious payload. They would essentially, every time you unlock your phone, they would force you to a malicious advertisement web page that would pop up different types of pop-ups to get you to do something. For instance, they might try to get you to contact premium SMS services to monetize this for the criminal. So this is a very interesting example of malicious applications showing up on Google Play's real legitimate market. And what's more interesting is the evasive tactics and the delayed tactics that this mobile malware used to get past traditional mobile malware security solutions. Advast's mobile security product will now catch this, but it did evade both Google and Advast's security filters at first. So what's the takeaway for any Android users out there? First of all, never download applications from third-party sites. It can be dangerous. However, as you can tell from this story, even Google Play sometimes gets infected with malware. So be careful of what you download from there as well. Maybe read the description of the product and look for any signs of unprofessionalism. Finally, if you're an Android user and you're not using some sort of local security uh, product on your device, you really should. You need something that might catch malware. By the way, if you're a WatchGuard customer and you use APT Blocker, do know we can scan APK files, which are Android installer files, for zero day malware as well. Well, that's it for today's news. Thanks for watching.